Anthony Davis made a statement in his Lakers debut. The Brow posted 22 points and 10 boards in 18 minutes against the Warriors at the Chase Center. Here he is after the game talking about his sequence of three dunks in a row and receiving pocket passes from one LeBron James. Let's take a listen. I was just trying to, you know, attack the offensive glass, you know, just try to, you know, be aggressive and get myself going. I've been playing in a while, so I just trying to do all the little things and the ball just ended up in my hands. So I just try to go up and dunk it and just kind of get myself going. It's tough to cover, you know, you got a guy like him going downhill um, and, you know, a guy like me who's rolling, you know, who's a lob threat, you got to pick your poison. You know, he's getting to a strong hand, um, he's in the paint, and then you got me rolling behind, so um, either he's going to go finish, you know, pocket pass or a lob, so uh, especially when it's a clear thought, you know, it's just a tough way to go. So today, how much stock should we put in AD's Laker debut, even though it was a preseason game? Let me tell you, this is like Apple in the 80s, like that type of stock. You want to get in on it now before the bandwagon comes through. Okay. Because AD in the first quarter, 17 and 7, just dominant. When they were playing, LeBron was even looking like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have fun playing with this guy. <laughs> when LeBron James is shocked at your talent, and we already knew what his talent was, I'm impressed. Now again, you know, this is just a preseason game. But it's against the Warriors. And I know the Warriors have had issues defensively at, at, at the center position outside of the Draymond Green. Yeah. But this was a dominant performance, and they don't even know really what they're doing yet. They don't have their chemistry yet. People forget that AD averaged like 26 on a minute's restriction before they sort of shut him down. He had a career high in assists and steals and rebounds, 26 and 12. This is a guy alongside LeBron James that can be absolutely scary. And I was watching that preseason game, I'm like, Oh, the league, even though everyone's like, oh, I'm not really watching this. It's cute. So many yeah. games going on. We're just getting the dust off. This is going to be scary if they play to that potential and they just have that synergy from the jump. To your point about the Warriors not having a real center available to them at the moment, that, that's true. But that doesn't change the fact that Anthony Davis made it look so easy, so easy early in that game. And it wasn't just the pinpoint passes from LeBron, which is stuff we expected. I at least expect LeBron to ride Anthony Davis like he's basically said that like we're going as far as Anthony Davis takes us this particular season putting kind of the onus on him and, and almost I feel like passing the torch a little bit on him but Anthony Davis looked like when you're watching a, a high school team and they've got uh, the best player in the state and they're playing a team that shouldn't necessarily be on the floor with them because of the size advantage yeah it looked like that when he was just hopping over guys, grabbing rebounds, putbacks, and things of that nature. Now, I do believe the Warriors are a playoff team. I do believe the Warriors will be better once they get their center rotation. Mm -hmm. But they're still probably not going to be able to limit Anthony Davis. Even when Anthony Davis was with the Pelicans, Anthony Davis had some really good games against the Warriors. And the crazy thing is we haven't even seen his full repertoire. Right. Like, what we were seeing was his extension from backboard one side to backboard the other side and just dunking and rebounding and being a dominant big. When he starts hitting threes, going one-on-one, -on -one, even going coast-to-coast, -coast, alongside LeBron James and a shooter like Danny Green, and you hopefully get Kuzma back healthy at some point, like, this is the team that I thought from the beginning is probably going to win the championship if they play to that potential and also wake up defensively. Yeah, I think, look, they're the favorites in Vegas for a reason. Um, I am a firm believer that the most accomplished player that LeBron has played with is Dwayne Wade. I mean, he's won championships with him. But this may end up being the best fit for LeBron as far as the talent is concerned the, at the time of his career and the time of Anthony Davis's career when they're uniting forces. It's basically a much more athletic version of Chris Bosh, right? Mm. Who Chris Bosh was a good defender when he was with LeBron. He was the best pick-and-roll defender for a, st a stretch of three years when he played with LeBron. But Anthony Davis can do all that and more just because of his athleticism. But your point being that Dwayne Wade is the best player that LeBron James had played with up until this point. Well, LeBron was in front. He was number one in the lineup of the big three. Right. LeBron sort of looks like he's ready to take a backseat. Imagine the NBA where LeBron is taking a backseat to an Anthony Davis. Like, that means you're getting the most potential out of both of those guys. That is the scariest part, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree with you. And LeBron had that happen to him. You know, that first year in Miami, him and Dwayne Wade. The it felt like dynamics. they were taking turns. The Dwayne dynamics. was still coming off uh, a season the previous year where he I finished third, I guess, in MVP voting. Yeah. So, And Dwayne took the step back and said, hey, for us to succeed the way we're supposed to succeed, you got to be the guy to lead us there. And I think LeBron is doing now something doing similar. Now doing the same thing yeah. with Anthony Davis. That's the scariest part. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.